Duma fighting as members of the Keefe Territorial Defence. Uh, gentlemen, thank you very much indeed. Vitaly, can I start with you? Do you believe the Russian Minister of Defence when it says the focus is now on the Donbass and no longer on Kiev? <clears throat> Please don't believe Russians. They explain liar every day. I want to come back to 1994 when Ukraine was third country in the world with nuclear weapons. We, got, we give up our nuclear weapons for the guarantee of our independence in our territorial integrity. And after that, they occupied Crimea. And after that, Donetsk, Lugansk. And right now, the war in Ukraine, in everything what tell Russians is not true. Vladimir, if I can bring you in at this point, and I completely take Vitaly's point about broken deals and broken pledges, is there a problem that there will be some people in Ukraine, not least in your great city of Kiev and to the West, who will say this may take some of the pressure off us if it is true? If it is true, what exactly? Please identify. That... Putin and his army are now going to concentrate on tidying up the Donbass and, and the corridor through to Crimea, but not Kiev. Uh, look, the, the target is the country, Ukraine, the capital. There, we cannot rely on what there is going to be said. In the beginning, when the annexation of Crimea, just go back to what actually was done. And there is, the, the history repeats. When Crimea was annexated and those green soldiers out there, everyone denied in Russia that any Russian soldiers were there. Later on, the President Putin has confirmed that it was his special operation with annexation. If you listen carefully to the Foreign Minister Lavrov in, on the first day of negotiations, he said, we never invaded any country and we didn't invade Ukraine. It's not even a joke. It's just painful to see how lies can be implemented on such important level and war where people are getting their life lost, infrastructure lost and destroyed. There are consistent lies. It doesn't matter. What it is about, you cannot rely on any information. You can't. Starting from the signed papers from 1994, where Russia signed as well on integrity and independence of the Ukrainian borders when we gave up the nukes. So it's consistent lie. There's nothing to rely on. But what we really need to do to stop this war and this senseless aggression and destruction and genocide, the special operation with denazination, where we have president with Jewish roots, where we have Holocaust memorials in Kharkiv as today, and a couple of days ago, Holocaust memorials Memorial in Kyiv, Ukraine, was attacked by Russian rockets and civilians were killed in the exact same place where 1941 German Nazis shot 100,000 people. What kind of denazination we're talking about? This is a complete lie, but this lie will have an end. And unfortunately, during these lies, as I said, people are getting lives lost. And Indeed. this something going to lead eventually to an end, to an end, not just of war. What Putin's Russia is doing right now, destroying actually its own people, destroying life, destroying stability in the world, destroying nuclear power plants that were on fire. And this is something that the world needs to pay attention to. We've got four nuclear power plants. One of them was on fire. Over 1,000 rockets, up to 2,000 rockets were launched and landed on Ukrainian soil. There is no guarantee that one of those rockets, not just going to kill civilians, but going to hit this or those power plants. And if that's going to be targeted and eventually exploded, 
the world is going to face Chernobyl and Fukushima in multiple pli- multiple times. It's going to be disaster for a thousand years and much more.